Hello learners, let us see how to solve this equation 6x power 4 minus 35x cubed plus 62x square minus 35x plus 6 equal to 0. This is a bi-quadratic equation, basically a four uh, it, uh, this on the left hand side we have a polynomial of degree 4. Now let's see how to solve this. Now here, if you will observe, this is an even degree reciprocal equation of class 1. Now don't get confused, I'll explain each word, okay? Reciprocal equation, if you will observe, the, you know, x power of coefficient of x power 4 is equal to constant. The coefficient of x cube is equal to coefficient of x. Uh, so in that sense, you know, this is a reciprocal equation, fine. Since, the, since this criteria has matched, this is a reciprocal equation. I'm not going to into the exact, uh, you know, definition. Now, what is this even degree? Okay. Uh, if you will observe the degree of this uh, polynomial on the left hand side, it is 4. Okay. The highest power of x is 4, which is an even number. That's why this is an even degree reciprocal equation of class 1. Now, what is this class 1? Okay. If you observe this constant, this constant is plus 6. Constant is plus 6. That is why this is of class 1. Okay, this is an even degree reciprocal equation of class 1. Now, this is just for uh, the intermediate board exam which comes, you need to write this line. Okay, otherwise, if you are from a... So, that's why I explained this. Okay, fine. This is still good if you write it even if you are from other boards. Now, uh, now let's divide this entire equation by x square, which is a standard procedure. So this is what I get 6 power 4 by x square and like this, it's, front of your, it's in front of your screen. Now, uh, x power 4 by x square, okay, you could even like cancel 2x, so you'd be left out with 6x square or you could use the formula a power m by a power n is a power m minus n. So this would be x power 4 minus 2, it should be x square. Similarly, this should be 35 minus 35x, here x square x square would get cancelled, here 1x would get cancelled, x would be there in the denominator and this is x by x square. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start grouping. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write 6x square and 6 by x square side by side. And minus 35x minus 35 by x side by side. Like this. Now, I'm going to take x common in the, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to take 6 common in these two terms, okay. So that this would be 6 into x square plus 1 by x square. And I'm going to take minus 35 common in these two terms. So that I'd be left out with x plus 1 by x. 62, leave it as it is. Now, x square plus 1 by x square is nothing but x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. Okay, it's x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. Okay, in case if you need an explanation, I'll just provide a quick one. Although it's not needed to be provided in exam. See, x square plus 1 by x square, I can write it as x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 minus 2. Okay, I just added and subtracted 2. So this would be nothing but x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x minus 2. If you will observe the first three terms, this is of the form a plus b whole square. a square plus b square plus 2 a b. So this is nothing but x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. This is what I'm you are going to see on the next slide. Okay, this is what you are going to see on the next slide. Now, this one I am going to write it as x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. And the other terms are as it is. Now just multiply it. Okay, 6 into x plus 1 by x whole square minus 12. And then other things. Now 62 minus 12 is 50. So that would come at the end. Now here. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this x plus 1 by x as another variable. Okay, I'm going to take this as another variable equal to y. So this would be nothing but 6y square minus 35y plus 50 equal to 0. If you can do, if you can do, you know, factorization, well and good, go. Or you could do this formula method, which I'm going to teach here. Here, if you will observe here, a is 6, b is minus 35 and c is 50. The standard formula x equal to minus b plus or minus 100 root b square minus 4 by 2a. Instead of x, we have i here. So just put down whatever I showed you before. You will get this minus of minus 35 plus 35. Minus 35 all square. It's nothing but 35 square. Now, for 35 square, if you are wondering, it's a big number. You could do, see, for 35 square, there's a short trick, okay? Uh, for, to find 35 square, you can just do 3 into 4 is how much? 12 and just put adjacent to it 25, 1, 2, 2, 5. That's it. So 1, 2, 2, 5. 35 square is 1, 2, 2, 5. And just multiplication also. What is 4 into 50? 200. 200 into 6, 1200. So ultimately you would be left out with this. 35 plus or minus 100 root 1, 2, 2, 5 minus 1200. 1, 2, 2, 5 minus 1200 is 25. And root 25 is 5. And this is what you get. And is nothing but 35 plus 5 by 12 and 35 minus 5 by 12. 35 plus 5 is 40, 40 by 12 comma 30 by 12 just you know in these two terms you know you can just uh, cancel uh, i mean 4 is a common factor so 
four tens are four threes are so ten by three you get and here six fives are six twos are so five by two you get it here now now if you remember we took x plus one by x as y okay so that's why what what exactly is going to happen is case one is that I'm going to take y as ten by three and case two is y as five by two so what was my y if you guys remember yeah x plus one by x so here also like this now uh, let's take lcm on the left hand side let's take lcm on the left hand side so this would be nothing but x square plus one by x it's nothing but 10 by 3 here also x square plus one by x which is nothing but 5 by 2 now do cross multiplication send this 3 here and x here send this 2 here x here so 3 into x square plus 1 is equal to 10x 2 into x square plus 1 is equal to 5x next now following this just multiply this 3 okay to these two terms so 3x square plus 3 equal to 10x 2x square plus 2 is equal to 5x bring this 10x here bring this 5x here that's what you get another two quadratic equations now to solve this if you uh, you know you could use formula method which i would suggest okay because sometimes roots can be irrational or imaginary better to go for formula method in case if it looks like it can be solved with factorization go with it fine now uh, so same here a is 3 b is minus 10 and c is 3 and here a is 2 minus 1 do from here you guys know it same i'm just going to apply the formula in the seed just substitute the terms you get what is there in front of my screen you can take a moment to understand uh, what's happening here now here minus of minus 10 is it's going to be 10 10 square is 100 4 threes are 12 12 threes are 36 so 10 plus or minus under root 100 minus 36 by 6 and 5 plus or minus under root 5 minus 5 square is 25 25 minus 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 so this would be nothing but uh, 25 minus 16 here i'd be adding okay 100 minus 36 is 64 25 minus 16 is 9 this is what you are going to see on the next slide so what is root 64 8 what is root 9 3 so 10 plus or minus 8 5 plus or minus 3 so this is what you have and then 10 plus 8 is 18 18 by 6 is 3 and 10 minus 8 is 2, 2 by 6 is 1 by 3 and here also similarly you will get 8 by 4 and 2 by 4 so 3 comma 1 by 3 and 2 comma 1 by 2 that's it my question is done just i need to put my last statement therefore the roots of the given equation are just arrange them in ascending order it looks good 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3 is the smallest root 1 by 2 and then 2 and then 3 that's it thank you very much for being with me until now uh not just this question there are many more questions which i read on this uh topic you know a theory of equations many uh, long answer questions you can find the entire uh, playlist link in the in the description you'll find it so please do check them out also many other questions that i made now apart from that in fact i'll be making this is my second question now apart from that if this is your first time coming across my channel please do subscribe to it and please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more videos like this thank you very much